in the space between, we took a break from our charter life, took our COVID tests, and made a night crossing over to the Bahamas, clearing in at Chub K. This season on Sailing the Space Between, we take some time to ourselves to taste the cruising life. And get her ship shape for our next charter season. If this current crazy world has made you want to sail away with us, check out our website, sailtsb.com, for more info. And you're going to want to hit that subscribe button and bell. It doesn't cost you a dime, and at the pace we put out videos, it won't annoy you either. Wow. How big is she? Wow. She really can't get in any docks, can she? Besides, like, maybe the face dock of your 66? What's the name of her? Aviva. Wow. She pretty. So striking out for Spanish Key, we headed across the Northeast Channel so we could drop the hook behind Meek's Patch, better known as their Pig Island. Well, Scott just put the main up and I got some big rollers coming in. Much better than the last seas we were in, as long as we catch them a couple seconds apart. Yeah. Wee! <laughs> There's a big ones. And you can't really tell when you're videoing. I always go back and look at the footage. It's one in the morning. And we're awake. Because our beautifully protected anchorage, it was protected on all three sides. The wind has now decided to go clock around to the one side we weren't protected on. Woke up to a flashlight falling onto the ground in our two foot seas. So I think I'm gonna haul anchor and go to the other side. The joys of boat living. Okay great. Yeah we'll see you in about 45 minutes then. That's awesome. Okay. Time. Yep. All right. Bye bye. Well, that's totally uh, unforeseen. I was already planning on what we were going to do for the next couple days while we were waiting, but they're ready for us. Uh, he's going to go get the cradle, getting the cradle ready now, and we got to go in. He said starboard side, so we get some ropes hanging out. He said he's got some big cushions out there, but we may use our fenders anyway. And then he's going to walk us into the cradle, and then they'll lift us up and out and get the going on us. Okay, when you say cradle, is this the same deal we've done for the last three haul-outs, or is this a different situation? Totally different. This is a table lift. Okay. It lifts us from underneath, and we stay on the same table. So, uh, go to Freshwater Flush, the porthole before we close, uh, gotta do the, treat the tanks basically so when we haul out they stay fresh and pickled. And Scott goes <laughs> into the forward hole and screams a bunch of expli explicatives and uh, come to find out in our rough crossing the soap dispenser that I had in a little suction cup thingy to the wall dumped over and broke into a thousand pieces of porcelain into the toilet. So we've just spent the last half an hour. Luckily it was nice soapy water so you couldn't really see what you were putting your hands down. I mean it was a clean toilet but you know it's just still a toilet. Um, so anyway we've just spent the last half an hour digging a thousand pieces of porcelain out of the toilet. So now we are on our way in. I think that says Spanish Wells. But more importantly, I know that says a liquor store. Here we are. Now this looks like more my speed of Bahamas. Chubb was pretty and all, but not the Bahamas I know. 
It's Bahama Mountain. Pulling into Spanish Key is pretty straightforward. You go right down this great big channel they've got right in the middle, and then we flipped her around, got our fenders ready, and pulled broadside into where the table is while they got the cradle ready for us to come on in. Are you Mr. Roberts? I am. Nice Not to meet you, Mr. Roberts. <laughs> yeah, right? Yeah. I'll stay six feet away until I can get find my mask, but. Yeah, okay. Uh, well, this is pretty cool. Never been here before. Oh, your first time in? Yeah, we usually go to the Abacos. I've never been this far south. South, yes. Yeah. Well, I hope you enjoy it. Mm -hmm. Me too. You got a beautiful day. Yes, it is a beautiful day. The sail away. So, <laughs> this just goes up and you do everything right here, or does she get? Yeah. Yeah. Pretty cool. So, say hi to YouTube Land. Hello. YouTube Land, this is Mr. Roberts. I would probably prefer if we could drop the dinghy. You want the dinghy off? Yeah, yeah. That's not just, just so that it's not... At least we'll have a dinghy to cruise around with. So they make, they asked us to remove the dinghy off the back before lifting. So apparently the table lift's been around for a while. But I tell you what, these guys over here at R&B Boatworks have got this down to a science. So the way it works is they lower the table in. It's basically like an oversized, overglorified boat lift. We back in the cat trying to keep us off the walls because we only had a couple feet on each side of her. That was about it. Then they slowly lift the boat up so that we're not actually being held by our lines anymore, but we are sitting still on the table. All right. Almost like you guys have done. Bruce, we're going to give him a recoat after COVID. You see? We'll, we'll spruce him up a little bit. I like him. So with Mr. Roberts in the water, they hand him down the uh, jack stands. He sticks them under the crucial points on the boat, tightens them up, okay. and then starts to bring us out of the water a little bit more, checks it, removes them all again, tightens them up, checks it, and this just keeps going on for two or three more times until he's happy with go ahead and lifting the boat all the way out of the water. So he's tapping on the hull, looking for the bulkheads. That way you're distributing out the weight as you lift the boat up. This is definitely a different way of doing things. I've never seen this before. This is really cool. He's basically setting the same stands that we had when we were in the sling. Now up we go. This whole process only took a just under an hour, which was really pretty good, considering that's what it took even with a sling lift to get us blocked. And as you can see, she's one dirty girl in dire need of a paint job. And this bottom job is less than two years old. So we hope the new stuff holds out a bit more. So we don't need to worry about anything. I don't know. You tell me. This is huh? the, you're the. No, I mean she. This is your department. Yeah. Well, I mean, <laughs> if you my man was, you know, if there's anything that you need uh, while she is out, you know, you probably want it. You probably want to go and check your through your ball valves while she's out of water. Yeah. Oh. Um. But oh yeah, other, yeah, I have two ball no. valves that are leaking. All right. Probably just pull them out, change the. Uh, yeah, so check, make sure to check. The mosquito's out of water is the time to do, right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So check that. Uh, How do they. That, I mean, it looks pretty good, huh? Yeah. Not too bad. I mean, I, How do they paint I, the bottom of the keels? We well, we don't. You don't no. paint the bottom of where it's where it's sitting. So you'll have Nothing three you can one do. foot spots. Oh. But the cap will keep it clean. Do a little sand every now and again. How you think it got like this? Yeah, <laughs> exactly. Our way. Oh, these are super cute. So we head over to check in and grab our golf cart. Is that a 150? It's going to be 125. You are the woman. That'll gotcha. work. Good job. Now I can afford that anklet <laughs> and the sticker. get much closer to the boat. Cute! Oh yeah, that's perfect. 
this is absolutely perfect. And look at even an octopus pillow. And a turtle pillow. What more could you ask? What more could you ask for? Look at this big office right here. Yep. Perfect workspace. Look at this. This is our home for the next three nights. So step one, pressure washing. Get all that green stuff off. Step two, Perfect. find a local bar to have a drink at. While we were having a drink at Buddha's Snack Shack, which is an awesome place. You should definitely go. We're going to go back there and bring the cameras. This happened. So, we are going to go get some stuff. Bring it back to our little bungalow. Why they continue to work on here? From a beautiful day yesterday. <laughs> so not so beautiful today. But there's work to be done. We went to bed at 8.30 last night, so we are up at 6.30 this morning. Just start on projects. What is it you're working on the props this morning? First thing. I'll stay down here until you need something and then I'll go up there. Okay. All the nuts in. Um, well, you didn't bring anything. How about... Let's go ahead and get this spinner nut off the prop. Pretty sure the last time I got a bottom job, we did it in the rain. <laughs> yeah, and after a few good smacks, that prop should come right off. Oh, only because it's got filled with corrosion. Now to get the zincs off. They're like 5200 on, aren't they? Our boot bracket doesn't seem to hold the boots on any better. Nothing seems to hold the boots. Nothing seems to sand it down. We'll see. Need to be filled or not. Tax from Amazon. Ooh. Amazon should not be allowed to sell them. Especially to people with yachts that would have to pull their boat. I need the drill. Um, inside the light itself is touching the case. The electrical. And so when it's touching the case, it starts electrolysis around it. Mm hmm. Which as you can clearly see. Probably welded it to the. Ooh. Oh wow, the whole thing separated. Bad. Nope. Oh, that one did the same. Eh, that's just rusted. Or is that? No, it's kind of pitted too. Yeah, they're all on the same line. So I can imagine. So this one, the boot stayed. Yeah. And there's a lot less growth. Let me flashlight. Well, the growth is almost like non-existent, except for. We don't have them to put them back on, do we? No. Um, I think what I might do 
is get a can of that foam. Why are they open? Well, they have to give this thing room to move. But if I let it, if you clean it out in there and I let it dry out in there, <clears throat> hit it with a can of foam and foam all that in in there. Exactly an hour and a half later. Yep. You are done. Well, yeah. done with the uninstall. Now we have to do the install, but that's well, an awesome. all right. So go clean up, have some breakfast, and come back. Come for... back. Round two. Yeah. Don't forget to join us next week as we do everything in reverse and put her back in the water. <laughs>